Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Yesterday, during the evening hours, the United States of American President Joe Biden's government launched a push for a talk between President Ruto and Azimio Moja One Kenya leader Raila Odinga to at least to reconsider calling off the mass action yesterday. This meeting was held almost during the night where they came out pleading to Raila Odinga to call off the mass action. US-led effort came to fail as Raila Odinga came out upheld that mass action is there to continue, but he must follow the rule of law. And he accepted that there are outlines that has been indicated in the Constitution of the Republic of Kenya, in the Article 37, where it has been allowed any Kenyan to come out to picket, protest, and demonstrate. And this is the law that Raila Odinga has come out to say that he is going to respect and of course to follow the law. This comes after yesterday. U.S. Senator for Delaware, Chris Coons, came in this country, sent by Joe Biden, to at least to have a conversation with Raila Odinga. I want to say that when you look at what happened in 2007, 2018, we are being told that this U.S. Senator, Chris Kuhn, was linked to past effort to broker a truce in Kenya, including in 2018 um, general election, where they came in talking to Raila Odinga and Uhuru Kenyatta. But Mr. Geshagwa has come out to have a stressful night because he never wanted these people to talk with Raila Odinga to shut down and call off the mass action. And this delegation was so stressful to some few individuals in the state house of the Republic of Kenya. Why? Because regarding Geshagwa, does not want any kind of dialogue between William Ruto and Raila Odinga. He terms like whatever they can talk about Raila Odinga is how Raila Odinga can exit the politics of the Republic of Kenya once and for all. Now, this morning, Raila Odinga, or Rigadi Gashawa, has come out to post a post in his social media accounts saying that I hosted a delegation from the US led by Senator for Delaware, Christopher Andrew Coombs for consultation towards strengthening ties between the two nations, especially in the trade, security and democracy among other key issues of mutual interest. Regarding Shago said, he did not mention any discussion regarding any dealings with the opposition. But speaking in Yeri, thereafter, the DP ruled out any dialogue with Mr. Odinga, whom he accused of attempting to blackmail President Ruto in talks to join the government. Remember, the Gadiga Shawa had met uh, these united delegates yesterday during the bombing. Then yesterday during the evening, almost to night hours, these delegates came in trying to have a conversation with Raila Odinga to at least have a conversation that was going to make Raila Odinga and his team to call off uh, the mass action. But I want to say that it might be not good for the side of Raila Odinga 
to continue this fight, pushing the government to lower the cost of living. Yet just a sudden, Raila Odinga will just come out to shut down or call off the mass action without the reaction and response from this government lowering the high cost of living. So this will expose Raila Odinga as a person that was just fighting for his interest and not the interest of the people. And that is why I told you, Raila Odinga is having a lot of pressures that this time round, it is people's driven mass action. And in fact, I've seen some people in insisting and requesting Raila Odinga to at least have a mass action every day. Every day. And this, is com this comes after Raila Odinga had allocated some days once in a week, Monday and Thursday. So it's like the push is that this government must respect the voice of the people. No matter what, even if they will try to beg the Western countries or Eastern or even part of the world to come out to talk to Raila Odinga. This is a people's driven thing. So Raila Odinga yesterday also came out insisting that their planned demonstration will continue today to push President Ruto's administration to lower the high cost of living, open last year's presidential election server for audit and stop an electoral reconstitution of the electoral agency. Now, Today, we are heading a fourth demand to Ruto to let parties be. Ruto must stop auctioning MPs like sheep and goats. If you want many MPs, let them resign and seek a fresh mandate. If they win well and good, that is whatever Raila Odinga said, it is a democracy. We are living in a democratic um, country last night. As Mio Executive Council Chairperson Weekly for Parang said the planned protests today are on despite the meeting with Mr. Coombs. So it means that the meeting failed terribly. Now, this is whatever Oparang said. We are definitely not calling off the planned protest tomorrow. We are on and we urge our supporters to come out, said the former governor Weekly for Parana. Minutes after 7 p.m., Mr. Dinga on his verified social media account handles posted a video declaring the protest, the protest are on. After imagine after meeting the Coons or the United Envoy, and also meeting the clergy from Catholic, Raylo Dinga, seven minutes after, he came out posting. A declaration that still the protest is on. And this is whatever he said. Mambo ya kesho tutaendelea. Hashtag Mandamano Thursday. We are on. We are on with tomorrow's plan for Thursday protest. He said. But again, Mr. Kuhn held a meeting with Rigadi Geshago. In the absence of President Ruto, who is in Jamal, on state visit and later went into talks with Raila Odinga. Then this was just a second time Kuhn was visiting Kenya in less than a year. In August 2020, he held a congregational delegation that met with national leaders including Kenyatta, Uru Kenyatta, President Ruto, and Raila Odinga. The talks between Kuhns, who is a close ally of President Biden, reportedly centered on the best approach to lasting peace and cohesion in the country. But it cannot be lasting peace and um, cohesion in the country. But the real issues and situations that Raila Odinga is addressing are not coming out to say. So members who came out to confronting Raila Odinga to call off the mass action, it was like certain individuals, high-ranked person in the government, is trying to push it, which we know it is William Ruto that is trying to talk with Biden to at least to have a conversation with Raila Odinga because this might destabilize his government, destabilize the economy, 
And this might bring a certain scenario where investors will not accept to be in a country where people are always on the streets. They will feel like this is not a safe environment to invest our resources. And um, it might not be as good as well as this government. So I think the agenda and projection towards these people who are sent by Biden now is like failing, failing. They thought that after meeting, Raila Odinga could have come out during that night to call off, to call off the mass action, which as we speak now, the mass action is on. Does it mean that these people never came out talking about the real issues that Raila Odinga is speaking about? Or are they feeling like these people want to sabotage them, then to abandon them immediately after them calling off the mass action? What are those? Maybe that is my opinion. Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Bye-bye.